Okay guys, uh, welcome to the uh, next installment of the Facebook Fan Pages How To Series. This time we're going to talk about capturing contact information from your visitors and or fans. Um, the easiest way to do this um, on Facebook is through an iframed um, tab where you use Aweber or Constant Contact or one of the many other um, autoresponders to actually build a form, build a list, and uh, add that form to your fan page, one of your tabs, and uh, go about collecting email addresses and or names. Um, so right now I'm at uh, the fan page engine, which is one of the um, iframe hosted uh, page generators that I use. Um, and we're going to go ahead and start here. Um, I've already created a, f a form. We're just going to paste this code into um, one of the subsequent screens from here. So we're going to call this um, Facebook Marketing Book eBook. Okay, and then you click Next. It's, it's very easy to use these. Um, And the idea here is that once a person becomes a fan, or you can actually capture their um, contact info before they're a fan, but the idea is to um, take them down a path that they want to follow and that you want to take them down. Um, meaning, you may want to collect them as a, or um, make them a fan first and then collect their contact information, or you may want to collect their contact information from the get-go and use your autoresponder to um, market to them. So just click the following screens. It's pretty obvious. Um, so when we get here, I'm not going to make this very complicated, um, but you can see all the different uh, you know, options you can do here. I'm going to make this extremely basic and choose the HTML. Uh, module and then I'm gonna paste in that code that we talked about and I'm gonna save it and that code is actually from Aweber so I created a form first so this is what the form is gonna look like on the page um, I could get rid of this if I wanted to um, it's it's not that important right now um, for illustration purposes um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this. Then I'm going to publish it. And then we're going to send it to this fan page examples page. And I click on this tab that says I add iframe engine. And then you'll see down here that it was called iframe engine tab 4 and that's that now you could pretty it up a bit by putting in a header up here putting some text that uh, you know headline and some text that sells the benefits and then put the form below that says hey sign up to my email newsletter and I'll give you this free book okay um, it's all easy enough um, but that's what that looks like. Now one thing you can do is you can go to Edit Info and go to Apps. And the last thing we added here was the iframe engine tab 4. You can change the name of that so that it makes some sense. Facebook Marketing eBook. Save it hit OK and then if we go back to the page we'll see that it's called Facebook Marketing eBook and if you want this tab to show up when somebody first hits your page what you can do is go back to Edit Info and then you go to um, manage permissions and see this default landing tab you can change that to this Facebook marketing ebook click Save Changes 
and I'll show you a, um, in a browser that I'm not logged into what that looks like. So I'm not logged into Chrome. And I'll just paste in that URL and this page appears first. So pretty simple, right? All right, that's it. Thanks a lot.